So you say you like your fragrances beast mode and long lasting. Well, from the House of Authenticity Perfumes, they guarantee 12 hours or better of longevity because of the 50% oil concentration. Let's check them out. Stay tuned. So recently, the owner of Authenticity Perfumes reached out to me on Instagram, wanted to send me some of their fragrances and wanted me to check them out. So I figured, hey, I love doing a first impressions video uh, from the feedback I get from you guys. You love, you know, the first impression videos. So he did send out uh, all five of their fragrances. I do have a decant of the Breadwinner, the main fragrance that all is all the rave, Authenticity. I haven't sprayed none of these yet, obviously. I want to do a legitimate first impressions, as well as the one that's got me most excited, Barbershop. We also have L'Homme Riche, which also means the rich man. The newest release, Urban King. And the one I'm most excited based on the hype I'm seeing on Instagram to smell is Summer Vibes. This and Barbershop have really piqued my interest. So, grab some test strips and we'll check out Authenticity first. So, I haven't looked at any note breakdowns or tried sniffing any of this stuff or watch any reviews. I just, I like going in blind most of the time you know and uh really just want to see what i smell that's the fun part you know so let's see Ooh, i'm digging that that's very fresh and has some floral tones to it that smells really good now I see why this is sold out, because he told me this one's actually currently sold out. Yeah, that's got some floral tones and a fresh citrus up top. That's right up my alley. You know I love a good floral fragrance. Almost like a... I want to say it's an iris note. Drop the decant. Yeah, I want to say that's an iris note with... Trying to figure out which citrus this is. It's definitely, I think it's like a lemony citrus and I'm getting what smells like an iris note. Very fresh, a little soapy, a little floral and a tiny bit powdery, not overly powdery or anything like that. Smells really good, right up my alley. Now I see why this is their bread and butter and why it's sold out. This smells really, really good. I'm going to have to do a little testing on skin with this one. I'm digging this. Authenticity from Authenticity Perfumes. I'm digging it. Like I said, we'll do some further testing on that one. Let's try another one. Next, the one I'm most excited to smell, Barbershop. Gotta love that blue color juice, you know? So, pretty safe to say with a name like Barbershop, it's going to have a bunch of lavender. Maybe some green notes like basil or oak moss or... Some rosemary, something along those lines, that classic gentleman barbershop style fragrance. But I love a good barbershop fragrance, so I'm pretty confident I'll like this one, you know. And based on what I'm smelling in the air, I like it already. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of lavender. Not overly soapy on the paper. On skin, it might be super soapy, I'm not sure. But on the test strip, it's not overly soapy, but it's definitely some soapy aromatic lavender, and I love, man, I love a good lavender note, because I love barbershop fragrances. So, I, like I said, I was most excited to try this one, because I love a good barbershop fragrance. And it's supposed to be a powerhouse, from what I understand. The green note I think I'm smelling is some oak moss. It smells like a lot of lavender and some oak moss, and it's like lemon citrus you know traditional barbershop style you know good stuff though definitely good stuff i think i'm gonna wear it well this video will come up the day you're seeing this i think this is going to be my scent of the day 
pretty excited about this one. I'm digging this way it smells for sure. Mm, man, this is some good stuff. If you like a good aromatic, lavender heavy barbershop fragrance, this is gonna be the one for you from Authenticity Perfumes. Don't get me wrong, Authenticity, they're original. If you like Prada Lome and stuff like that, that's kinda in the same realm, Soap and, soapy, floral, fresh, irisy type of scent, really good. But for you barbershop enthusiasts, this is a really good one. Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this as my scent of the day. Next, we'll check out Summer Vibes. So I saw Authenticity was running a giveaway on Instagram for this one. I saw Justin Stay First Productions had shared it. That was how it caught my eye. So let's check this one out. Like I said, I have no clue what the notes are. I would assume it's a citrus aromatic. It's called Summer Vibes. We shall see. Definitely some citrus up top. But there's some green components to this too. What? I'm not sure. It's definitely giving me a summer vibe. You know, may, actually more of a spring vibe than a summer vibe is what I'm getting right now in this opening. There's definitely some bergamot in here and there's something green. I can't really tell what it is. There's definitely bergamot though. That's really standing out to me. Very, very fresh. The name's fitting for it being super fresh. Is it making me think of summer? Yes and no, because the green aspect of it's making me think springtime as well. That's another good one, man. Three in a row. Apparently, I've been sleeping on authenticity. So far, so good. I'm, I'm really digging them. This is super fresh. It's kind of making me want to wear this tomorrow instead of barbershop. No, I'm going to stick with barbershop. I'm going to wear that tomorrow. Or, as you're watching this, the day this releases, I'm wearing barbershop. Stick with that. Yeah, super fresh. I'm getting... There's definitely a bunch of citrus in here, but the bergamot's really jumping out at me. There's definitely some bergamot. I'm getting a little bitter citrus. And there's a green herbal quality to this. I'm not sure what it is. I want to say rosemary, but I could be wrong. But there's something green and herbal and earthy and grassy that's in this. And maybe a little vetiver adding to that maybe. But there's an herbaceous note and it's like some grassy vetiver kind of thing going on here. But very fresh citrus and green. Digging it. Great for spring and obviously for summer. Next, we're going to try Loam Rich, the rich man. Check this one out. I'm kind of guessing based on the name and the color scheme of the theme. I'm guessing this is kind of the do it all work fragrance, dumb reach kind of thing where it's going to work in a lot of situations, a lot of seasons. I'm not breathing through my nose yet. There we go. Hmm. I'm getting a little bit of powder. Believe it or not. A little floral tone. Woody. I want to say that's like Tonka bean powder. It's not coming off as flower powder. Floral type of powderiness. It's coming off as like a Tonka bean powderiness. There's an underlying sweetness there. Tonka bean, you know. It's a Tonka bean fragrance. That's what it smells like to me. I got ingredients on the back. I'm assuming geranium oil or whatever. That's probably geranium. Citral. Lemonine, I'm guessing is lemon. You know, I don't know what these are, but uh, I can only guess geranium and lemon, stuff like that. But I definitely think there's some Tonka bean in here. On the paper, it smells like a powdery, sweet tonka bean. This is definitely falling into what I was thinking. This is that versatile do-it-all. This is the do-it-all. Summer vibes is your casual day. Barbershop kind of falls into this one, but not everybody's into a heavy lavender barbershop fragrance. So 
these are the two versatile ones i would say urban king i don't know what i'm looking into with that yet but authenticity is definitely the i would say kind of competition to a prada loam or not really a dior home because it doesn't have that kind of sweetness but a soapy floral kind of fragrance yeah but there's no no doubt i'm pretty confident in saying there's some tonka bean in this because that's what's really jumping out at me a little powdery sweet some woods i'm not really getting a bunch of citrus up top or anything like that it's not it's not not fresh it's just not as fresh as barbershop and summer vibes i'm digging this though if you like tonka bean you like this. I'm, I'm digging it for sure. Everything's been good so far. I mean, I, I, I know you guys hate for me to just like everything, but this... I'm sorry. <laughs> they're, they're all good so far. I don't know if Urban King's going to be great or not, but so far I like every single one of them. They're very good. Yeah, that's definitely Tonka Bean. Moving on. Last but not least, their newest release just came out a week ago. Urban King Parfum. Let's check it out. Purple label. Based on the label, I'm going to assume it's sweet or boozy or something in that neighborhood. Because that's usually first thought when I see, you know, Urban King, Purple, that kind of theme. I'm thinking it's going to be a sweeter fragrance and a bit more boozy. I could be wrong, though. Might be super smoky and woody. I, well, let's check it out. There's a freshness. There's a fruity freshness up top. This one's a bit fruitier, fruity sweet. You know what? Do a little half spray on skin. Screw the paper. This is just a little half spritz. Let me get it to focus. See all that oil? That's not even a full shot. If I was to do a full shot, it would have covered my whole hand most likely. Okay, this has a little bit of a powdery quality as well. And a muskiness with a sweetness. But there's some sort of fruity sweet. Oh, it says all the same ingredients on the back, so that's not helpful. <laughs> there's definitely some lavender in here because I'm kind of getting a soapiness up top and it smells like a lavender soapiness it doesn't smell like a soapy iris or anything like that so i'm gonna go with there's some lavender it smells soapy aromatic it's not overly fresh this is a little bit darker than everything i've smelled so far there's definitely an underlying sweetness and a muskiness to it but not a heavy musk nothing in a malic or anything like that I don't think there's any boozy notes in here. It doesn't smell boozy to me. That was the theme that I was I was taking from Urban King with the purple and everything. I was thinking there might have been a rum note or something like that, but uh, it doesn't really strike me as that. Definitely a soapiness. It's starting to sweeten up a little bit more. That musk is coming up. There's a creaminess to it, almost like a sandalwood creaminess. It's different though. None of these none of these smell similar to one another. There's definitely no redundancy in the offering from the offerings from the house. There's, you can get the entire collection. They offer sample packs as well. And actually, till the 31st, they're running a 15% off discount code, 15 off. I'll put that across the screen. I'll put it in the description uh, with a link to their website as well if you want to try any of these things. They have sample packs. You can buy the individual fragrances. These are like 40 bucks. Um, Authenticity is 50, but it's sold out right now, but they're running 15% off. And these are all 60 milliliter bottles. If you're interested in get full size bottles, see two fluid ounce, 60 milliliter bottles. So you definitely get your money's worth. They guarantee you 12 hours plus on the longevity. Projection seems to be there. I'm not having to dig my hand in. And you see this oil sheen on my hand. I gotta say, digging all of these for sure. So they definitely get the stamp of approval from me. How many of you have tried these already? Until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Yeah, it's actually getting a little bit soapier. The lavender's coming out more. Kind of odd. Normally the lavender stays up top. 
but I'll tell you what, I'm digging all of these. They all smell good. I would strongly advise, check out one of these sample packs, like 12 bucks, and then there's a 15% off code right now, so it's $1.50 off of $10, so it's probably like two bucks off, you know? So like $10 and some change. You check out all five fragrances, get some decants, just like this one for authenticity. I think they're three milliliters, if I remember correctly. They all smell pretty good. I'm going to be wearing Barbershop today. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any of these and you give them a spray now, who knows? You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Pete, this is not a drill. <laughs>